Hey guys, I'm Everything Ella Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to create Sims 3 custom content on Windows. And in part 2, I'm going to show you how to upload your custom content to the TSR for everyone can download on their Mac and Windows. But you can only create the custom content on Windows. So rather than me blabbing on over and over again, I'm just going to tell you, let's get started. So let's get started. What you will need is the TSR Workshop, Photoshop CS4, and a DDS plugin. The Photoshop CS4, TSR Workshop, and DDS plugin will be in the description below where you can download them. The Photoshop, you can download the fuller version for free. With, you can click, click my link here to do no work, no video. Just install it like a regular thing on your computer. And it's safe. The DS plugin, it's a little more confusing. So a lot more confusing, kind of. So I'm going to show you a link in the description below where you can watch someone else's video of how to install it. But you can click, but you can click the file to download it right on my video in the description below. If that makes any sense. So... I'm like talking a lot right now, so let's just get started. So you see this TSR workshop thing? We're gonna double click that. TSR stands for the Sims Resource, which is a place where you can download custom content and upload your custom content. Press yes. Wait for it to load. Click Create New Project, double click Clothing, wait for it to load, it says Reading Game Data, please wait. Okay, under Sims 3 Closing, Closing, Clothing, click the plus next to Human, plus next to Young Adult, and plus next to Female, then double click Everyday Wear. Okay, so now we're going to search AF top. AF top, kind of. If that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, then we're going to scroll down and click the top that I'm going to teach you how to make. Not make. You, don't, you can't make a top. Um, you can make a top, but it's like really, really hard. You can edit a top, though. So I'm going to show you how to edit, edit a top. So it's, it makes it your own. You can download it for everyone else to to want to download it and install it on the Sims resource. So, I'm just going to do this top right here. So double click the top you select and you'll come to this page that says project details. Give your project a name and some additional details. Um, you don't need to mess around with title, just name it. Just name it. I'm going to name it. Um, Swag. Press next. Press OK. And it says hold it. Loading message. Not message. I keep on saying message, and, but it's actually meshes. Okay. Hold it. Loading meshes. Now it says done. And then it comes up to the screen. And you can view it. And if you want to zoom in, just to see more closely, you can go up to the view and press zoom. So if you want to. I'll keep it that close. Then press back to view. Okay, so under next project, click texture. Clicked, clicked, click texture. Next to multiplier, click multiplier right here. Then next to that, you'll see this little picture there. And an edit button. Click the edit button. Then click export. Um, leave it at, at dot .dds. That's why you need a DDS plugin to make it a DDS file. Then name it what you want. I'm going to name it Swag. No, just Swag. Okay, then press Save. Press OK. X this out and minus this out. And then it should be um, on your desktop. Right, right click if you don't see Photoshop right there. It might be just a blank, uh, the same kind of folder. It might be like a regular um, file without PS Photoshop there. So what you need to do is right-click it, 
open with and then Photoshop and when you only do that once it will, and you want to make another one it will auto automatically have Photoshop on all the files that need to be said Photoshop okay delete all your stuff that you've made that you don't want if you have made something on your Photoshop before this okay so you see this little thing right here on the left um, on every texture the left the left um, side this is the right side right here this is the right on the left where I'm clicking right here that one the left not the right the left I know I'm saying left a lot but the one where you can see kind of the boobs right there the bo like the bumps there for the boobs um, make sure you're on that part so now we're going to add a file to this a pi an image to this make it our own so go in under file press open I have an in image in your in, in my not in your in my downloads and wherever you, you have an image and you want that image on your shirt that you want to upload or use yourself then click that image wherever your image is so um, so um, I'm going to make it this one I got swag and press open then it will come out in a new tab on your thing this is the one that we want to install it to this is the one that we need to copy and paste so you see it's a little square bracket right here click that from the left top corner to the to the right bottom corner drag it until until you can see the whole square being highlighted by little bracket things then press control C go back to your swag.cds file you can see right here and paste it control V okay then we're going to go to edit free transform and make it smaller and then we're going to drag it to where we want it like that and then press this button right here and press apply and now the shirt's gonna say I got swag and it's gonna look all cool and stuff then press file save as swag and then under format click PNG press OK and then press OK in this one then minus it and then go back to the TSR workshop and then under texture go back to multiplier edit this time we're going to go to import instead of export import and then press under this thing right next to file name click PNG and then open the swag file dot PNG right there this one right here and then wait for it wait for it continue click continue wait for it wait for it and then a done file should show now yep then press done and ready oh my god uh, 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 I'm like speechless right now because none of my things have ever gotten out this good like it's perfectly centered perfectly thing and it looks awesome like who wouldn't want to download this if, if they wanted their sims to look all punky and awesome and stylish and in and everything so I'm actually gonna upload this to the TSR um, with you guys in the next part in part two I'm gonna show you how to upload it to the TSR for everyone else to download okay so how what do we do next Ella like just keep it on here forever and never use it no you're gonna go Right under this page right here go to file export to sims 3 pack don't export it right to the sims resource and there it works go to sims 3 pack enter your name your your you need to create account you'll need to create an account on the sims resource and and after you create your account and your username enter your username here and enter the TSR email and password that you that the email and password you created on the TSR right here then press OK and then this comes up and name your file the sim3 pack I'm gonna name it swag and then 
press save then press done oh my god I look so excited then press minus and look at that whoa whoa it is right here guys for everyone else to download and you and if you just double click it you can install it on your game and it's totally 100% safe and and the next in part 2 I'm going to show you how to um upload it to the TSR for everyone to see it's optional if you want to watch the other video of course it's optional you can choose whatever video you want to watch whatever ella so hope you guys like this video please comment rate and subscribe and see you guys next time oh my god i'm so excited bye guys and continue on to the next part if you want to see how to make everyone else want to download your stuff bye